Feminism is a scam. A few years ago, I was an angry, blue-haired feminist. I once believed that male privilege was real and that I was a victim of the wage gap. Now that I understand the true motives of feminism, I know that this could not be further from the truth and that modern day feminism is a war on true masculinity. Before women had the right to vote, most were stay-at-home wives, which meant they weren't working jobs and couldn't be taxed. Our overlords didn't like that. Rockefeller started funding feminist campaigns in media and as a consequence of the movement, women started entering the workforce and leaving the home. Children would then be separated from their parents and sent to Rockefeller funded schools to be indoctrinated by the state. All of this ultimately disrupting the family unit at its core. Feminism is defined as the belief in social, economic and political equality of the sexes. But in the West, I must ask, what rights do men have that women don't? Modern feminists are convincing women that hookup culture, using hormonal birth control and not shaving is liberation. That toxic masculinity is prevalent and the patriarchy must be dismantled through movies and media, we're taught that working for the man, climbing the corporate ladder and paying tax is more empowering and valuable than raising the next generation. Women have lost touch with our natural loving instincts and birth rates are plummeting. Men and women are not the same. And by protesting for equality of outcome rather than opportunity, feminists are demonizing and emasculating men. Women now realize that life is not what feminism made it out to be. They've changed all the rules and have effectively ruined any chance of actual happiness. Life takes away opportunities when you make choices. You cannot have it all. Now women are reaping the consequences of what they started. Feminism started as a noble movement for women's rights and inclusion in society. But now that I think about it, it's become more of a movement that perpetuates an anti-male narrative, or rather, a narrative that pushes for women to oppress men and take their places in society. It completely ignores the true value of women as feminine beings who have the biological superpowers of being able to give birth to human beings, of being able to care for children and men, and nurture families. These are qualities men don't have. These are qualities that make women stand apart. However, the feminism of today perpetuates a rebellious faction of women who only want to live a life based on how low-quality men used to live their lives sleeping around with women and not embracing the responsibilities of being men. Modern feminism is teaching women to be second-class males instead of first-class women. I just quit my job because they made me mad, and honestly, I want to do music full-time anyway, so can you guys, like, blow this up so I don't look stupid and, like, maybe I can pay rent next month? I love you. Here is a stool to sit on since you are nine months pregnant. And Ashley is sitting on a stool and she's eight months pregnant. Thank you, I didn't know that was an option. Are you seriously injured? Why are you sitting on a stool? I'm nine months pregnant and it was offered to me. Well, you can't use it without a doctor's note saying you're pregnant. I go on maternity leave in two days. Did you think I just got fat? Can you not see I'm pregnant? Regardless, I'm gonna need to see some papers. Ashley, did you need to provide papers? No, I did not. So since you're trying to make me prove it when you're not trying to make her, I quit. You can't quit. I just did. This is unethical. So is calling somebody in to cover a shift for you and then making them stand for 11 hours straight while they're nine months pregnant when you could be giving them a stool. Goodbye. I'm known as an artist on TikTok, but I'm a teacher IRL. Lately I've felt like death. I can't explain how overwhelmed I feel. I don't even have time to eat an effing cup of yogurt for lunch. They guilt us into working overtime since we work with kids. I'm so done with this. What has your job given you instead of a raise? Emotional damage! I'm willing to bet on this. To anyone watching this video, go to your friends and ask them what they believe feminism is, and you'll receive different answers. Some will say it's the collective fight for freedom against oppression from men. Others will say that it's a movement that tells women they're better than men at everything, and that they need to take over men as the authority in any given circumstance or situation. And then there will be others who won't even know what it is. But most people you ask will tell you that it's a movement that is liberating women from men, 
and now the tables have reversed to show that men or women are not equal. But in fact, women are greater than men in every aspect, which includes physical, emotional, and intellectual. Some extreme believers will say that it's about taking revenge against men. One thing's for certain, there's a lot of confusion regarding feminism, and most people don't even know what it stands for. Instead, they believe in extreme views that are just creating more division in societies across the world. Listen, I'm all for the right of women to vote, work, earn, and pursue their careers. I'm all for women being able to live independent lives, but I'm not for a society where women are taught to hate men, or that their life's purpose is to ignore their responsibility to society being feminine and being happily invested in raising their families. I'm not at all for women who feel as though they need to sleep around with 30 plus men in their 20s, just so they can get back at men, or the 1% of men who they heard did that to women in the past. Some men still act irresponsibly or do not do justice to their gender, but that doesn't mean women have to do that too. What started off as a quest for equality is now a quest for superiority. Modern feminist women say they want equality, but they only want it on their terms, which includes domination over men. Women want selective equality. They don't want true equality. They want the same salary that a man has for a particular position without having to work for it as much as that man. Women want a place in the boardroom, but they don't want to sit past 6 p.m. because they've got to go to their spa appointment. Women only reveal their anti-male woke nature when they do they things because it shows they just want to ride the wave of success without having to work for it. They compare themselves with high-quality men who sacrifice their entire lives and live in incredibly competitive environments just so they can get to those positions. The idea that modern feminine women can survive in society without any men in those countries is a dangerous story that they are actively spreading. This story presents a false picture of how young women may achieve that without ever having to work for it, which makes it hazardous. Are these women going to be sewage workers? Will they be employed in the mining sector? Will they genuinely put themselves in the same appalling situations that men do to provide for their wives and kids? Or do modern women only want to look up to and copy CEOs? Why the contradiction? Why only some equality? I tell the truth. There are entire generations of helpless women being used as pawns in gender politics for dominance. It's time women open their eyes to the lies that have been told to them. Working a 9 to 5 and taking orders from your boss is not empowerment. It is slavery. Building a family is the real empowerment. Men and women have their roles and that has not changed. The more aligned a man is with his masculinity, the more successful he's going to be. He won't be able to attain that if he suddenly decides because of popular culture that he'd rather be a woman. Similarly, the more aligned a woman is with her feminine side, the more successful she is. For her, success isn't wealth creation. It's the happiness of her children. It's in the moments that she shares with her family. However, modern feminism has completely twisted this to make it sound like being traditionally feminine is a weakness. That masculinity is a weakness and that women need to be more masculine and men need to be more feminine. They've completely twisted it around and women are miserable as a result. For a woman who's 40 and has spent a good part of her life climbing the corporate ladder, it's not an easy task to settle down with a husband, even if she wanted to. For one, a woman over 40 is way past her prime and too far beyond the metaphorical wall. Sure, she earns good money, but men don't want to be with women for money. It's in a man's very nature and DNA to be a provider just like it's in a woman's nature and DNA to be a nurturer. So with modern women going against their own universal nature, they're not going to get a sense of peace, even if they're CEO of the biggest company in the world. And as this woman says, it is disappointing to not be married after 40. 10 years down the line, this disappointment will have turned into full-blown regret. And that's something women need to realize and recognize, like they're starting to now. Truth is, Women are genuinely confused by feminism, even they don't know what to make of it, and blindly following something they aren't even sure of is consistently leading them to become miserable as adults. Sure, they follow their careers and become strong independent women, but they realize how lonely they are without partners, family, and children. And at that age, they don't get the same interest they used to get from men when they were young. Feminists today think about 1% of men who wronged women in the past and use that to treat every man or the other 99% in the same way, basing their whole lives and the feminist ideology on it, which is a completely illogical thing to do. And this is why, 
modern women today have incredibly high body counts because they've equated that with being independent and free and with getting back at those 1% of men who did oppress women. This is why I feel that modern feminism has lied to women in general. Modern feminism has robbed women of their meaning and purpose and given them a new purpose that is only making women more and more miserable. You only have to go and see the women around your society or online today to know what I mean. Women are miserable because of feminism. They think they're part of some positive movement that liberates them of their worries, when in fact, it only steals their value from them. I've seen countless videos online where women are crying because they've slept with so many men, they just don't know what to do with their lives. I've said this many times before and I'll say this again and again. Men were meant to provide, protect, and spread their seed to build and populate. Women were meant to care and nurture, provide warmth and raise children with their men. Both have their own qualities and reasons. It's only the woke female narrative that has made W would like to raise children while women bring in the money and resources for protection. Women believe that they're lesser beings if they're not doing everything a man can do. You don't see men crying about how they can't give birth. You don't see men saying they, thanks for watching the circle of kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know. It's in the moments that she shares with her family. However, modern feminism has completely twisted this to make it sound like being traditionally feminine is a weakness, that masculinity is a weakness, and that women need to be more masculine and men need to be more feminine. They've completely twisted it around and women are miserable as a result. For a woman who's 40 and has spent a good part of her life climbing the corporate ladder, it's not an easy task to settle down with a husband, even if she wanted to. For one, a woman over 40 is way past her prime and too far beyond the metaphorical wall. Sure, she earns good money, but men don't want to be with women for money. It's in a man's very nature and DNA to be a provider. Just like it's in a woman's nature and DNA to be a nurturer. So, with modern women going against their own universal nature, they're not going to get a sense of peace, even if they're CEO of the biggest company in the world. And as this woman says, it is disappointing to not be married after 40. Ten years down the line, this disappointment will have turned into full-blown regret. And that's something women need to realize and recognize, like they're starting to now. Truth is, women are genuinely confused by feminism. Even they don't know what to make of it. And blindly following something they aren't even sure of is consistently leading them to become miserable as adults. Sure, they follow their careers and become strong, independent women but they realize how lonely they are without partners, family, and children. And at that age, they don't get the same interest they used to get from men when they were young. Feminists today think about 1% of men who wronged women in the past and use that to treat every man or the other 99% in the same way, basing their whole lives and the feminist ideology on it, which is a completely illogical thing to do. And this is why modern women today have incredibly high body counts because they've equated that with being independent and free, and with getting back at those 1% of men who did oppress women. This is why I feel that modern feminism has lied to women in general. Modern feminism has robbed women of their meaning and purpose, and given them a new purpose that is only making women more and more miserable. You only have to go and see the women around your society or online today to know what I mean. Women are miserable because of feminism. They think they're part of some positive movement that liberates them of their worries, when in fact, it only steals their value from them. I've seen countless videos online where women are crying because they've slept with so many men, they just don't know what to do with their lives. I've said this many times before and I'll say this again and again. Men were meant to provide, protect, and spread their seed to build and populate. Women were meant to care and nurture, provide warmth and raise children with their men. Both have their own qualities and reasons. It's only the woke female narrative that has made W would like to raise children while women bring in the money and resources for protection. Women believe that they're lesser beings if they're not doing everything a man can do. You don't see men crying about how they can't give birth. You don't see men saying they, thanks for watching the circle of kings. As always, we're looking forward to your support. So please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, and subscribe to the channel to stay updated with everything all kings like yourself need to know.